So I'm here with Katie Cassidy from Arrow. Hello. Tell me what it's like to star on one of the hottest shows of last season and how excited are you about season two? Um, it's awesome. <laughs> Uh, and I'm so excited about season two. I mean, I was just was saying to someone, it's so cool. I can't wait to read the first episode and, and you know, from them, them on out, just because I'm getting so much more information. You know, it's like a manual almost. It's like you're just getting more and more information about your character, about mm -hmm. relationships. Um, super excited. Obviously, the season finale was rather shocking. Right. And very sad. So I think that there will be a lot a lot going on in season two. It kind of uh, made the decision for Laurel pretty easy, right? Like, oh, is it going to be Oliver or is it going to be Tommy? Well, it's got to be Oliver now, right? I, you know, I would think so, but at the same time, when something like that happens, I don't even know if she can be in a relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it may kind of tear them apart again. And I don't know how Oliver's character is going to, you know, deal with that. Mm -hmm. He could go and be in some weird deep, dark depression, I have no idea. But I do know that, you know, everybody obviously deals with death, death differently, and it's going to be interesting to see what it does with their, with their relationship. You know, what I like watching is, you know, I sort of figured that it, this whole story was about Laurel and Oliver, and now all of a sudden when you watch the show, you sort of see this chemistry develop with Felicity and Oliver. So is it going to be this love triangle? Because at first I thought she was just, you know, the tech girl. Now I feel like she could be competition for Laurel. Um... I don't know. I mean, I guess there's that possibility, but in the sense of you have Oliver and you have Tommy and Oliver and Laurel, I think they're meant to be mm -hmm, at mm -hmm. the end of the day. And they're each other's, I believe, first um, and hopefully at some point each other's last. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't think that, you know, nobody really ever can compare to Oliver the way that Laurel sees him. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that Oliver feels the same thing, same way about Laurel. So Felicity may be there. It may be a fling. I, I have no idea. Um, but, you know, bring it, Felicity. <laughs> 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 Laurel has got this. <laughs> um, I, I loved, like, sort of the disparity in Laurel's character. Like, on one hand, she's, like, shooting machine guns at bad guys, and then on the other hand, you see, you'll sort of see that vulnerability. You know, is there one sort of Laurel that you like, or is it the dynamic of her character that's a pleasure to play? Uh, it's certainly, you know, the dynamic that's really awesome. I feel like she really rises above when, you know, and when need be. Mm -hmm. You know, she's a strong person, strong character. She is very emotional. Um, she's super sensitive, but she... She's a fighter, mm -hmm. and um, I think it's nice that you get to see sort of all those colors um, when it comes to her, when it comes to her character. You know, she she can stand up to whoever she has to, um, and she her father's obviously a detective, a cop, and she knows self defense. He probably made her take self defense classes when yeah, when she yeah. was younger and taught her, you know, a few things. So it's not just like out of the blue. She knows how to shoot a shotgun. You right. know? It, it, it's legitimate and makes sense. Um, but it's all fun. You know, I love doing those fight scenes. I think they're so cool and so much fun. And I don't know. I just, uh, I, every time I interview about the show, I always ask you like, when are we going to see the black canary? You know, and I was counting down. I was like, Oh, she's got to come out in that season finale. So is that something hopefully we're going to see in season two or do you not know either? Oh, um, I wish I had an answer for you. Your eyes are saying yes. I, I would love for that to happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, as a woman, especially, this was part of the reason I, I, I loved this character so much um, when I first read read the part. And I, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I love seeing a girl kick some ass. Mm -hmm. um, and it would be cool to see, you know, the arrow maybe sort of kind of take Laurel under his wing and teach her. Like, I keep seeing these scenes in my head of, <laughs> it's almost like Rocky or something, you right, know, right. put her through training. And maybe at some point, Laurel will be, you know, maybe she'll be doing this salmon thing. Right, <laughs> right, right. they are. Um, I think it would be, I think it would be fun and cool. And we'll see. If I gave you a pen and said you could script the first episode of season two, is there any one thing you would like to put in there? Like, if you had your choice, if you had, like, carte blanche to be a writer on the show? Um, I think it would be really cool to actually pick up exactly where we left off, mm -hmm. you know, from that either the next day, not too much time as fast, or maybe even that scene where you see my father and I in the street, pick up from there um, to remind the audience of the tra obviously how tragic and, and, mm -hmm. and what has been going on. Um, putting in the first episode, 
obviously you're going to see everyone's reaction to or where they are to to Tommy's death and I don't know I think that they'll it'll be interesting I don't want to say too much because I do know a little bit mm -hmm. um, but I think that uh, I think it's going to be it's going to be really good because I mean look where you left the finale it was a huge like cliffhanger so did did Tommy's death come as a surprise like was it awkward for you on set like did you sort of know oh, he's a dead man walking <laughs> um you know it was something we found out like a couple weeks beforehand and it's it was really sad because Colin is such an amazing mm -hmm. actor and such an amazing person um but he took one for the team, and I definitely think that our season finale needed to be something that had such a huge emotional impact. And it's so great that he was the reason, you know, for the audience to just be so affected, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so, yeah, I was definitely sad, but I'm sure, you know, Colin will probably see him on the big screen sooner or later. Um, but he's wonderful. So, yeah, of course, it was it was sad, but he's a trooper, and... You know, I wish him the best. And, and finally, can you tell me a little bit about uh, the movies you're working on? The Scribbler, I think? Uh, yeah, that, that is uh, a movie where I played a girl who had multiple personality mm -hmm. disorder. I actually just saw, they've been cutting it for a while, and I just saw a final cut and did some ADR um, voiceover stuff, and it looks awesome. So we'll see. I don't know when it's coming out, um, but we'll see. Oh, we'll see what happens. It's really, really crazy. It's really good. Um, so, yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you.